as what's going on my name is Jared and today I'm going to be showing you how to make another to intro in cinema 4d and the intro is going to be a little bit harder than the last one but if you follow along it's actually really easy and it's a much cooler effect than the last one okay so anyway so what you're gonna need for this one though is audacity which is a free editing uh, audio editing software that you can grab anywhere um other programs can do it but i like audacity a it's free b it's the one i know how to use so two good reasons why you should use it too so what you're gonna want to do is in itunes or wherever you have your music just pick a song that you want and drag and drop it in and it will import it into audacity it doesn't really take that long as you can see uh... red by already over by red is a four minute twenty three second song and it doesn't really take that long so now get to a part where you like okay so right there for me as I add up I'm gonna do to right right there about okay so right here delete that and right here delete that if you're having um problems with this check to make sure that you have stopped the playback you cannot pause it to delete it make sure you're hitting delete on your keyboard and that you're highlighting over it but so that's all we have to do in audacity and now we're gonna export our song and I'm gonna export it as as a tutorial and this is why we had to do this WAV Microsoft Science 16 bit PCM that is why because that is what Cinema 4D it needs to work okay so save it I've heard people say that in uh, Cinema 4D R12 that any format will work but seeing as I'm still in 11.5 um, I'm gonna use dot WAV not to mention um, yeah so if you can use whatever you want then go ahead but you know so what we're gonna do is get our settings saved up so that's a let's just say that's about a 10 uh, second file so what we're gonna do is just make it 300 frames and we're gonna drag that out because 10 times 30 about roughly a 10 second video then we're gonna go to our render settings and just like the last video we're gonna change our to film and video HDV slash HDTV 720 29.97 all frames save save it as save it as sound effector quicktime movie um, say where you want to save it to desktop change this to best and this to animation okay so now that we have this we're gonna want to make a floor and zoom out a little bit so you can actually see then you're gonna want to make a cube up here and you have your cube so now what you're gonna want to do is these little orange um things on each of the mover pieces each of the axes you're just gonna want to bring it up together and like that make it skinny like that then bring it up um, a good ways doesn't really matter because it's going to be hidden from your view and then just yeah put it there now go to MoGraph cloner object and drag your cube on the cloner object like that so you should see the down arrow and this makes it go all weird and you don't know what's going on but change the mode to radial and yet again this is all weird you don't know what's going on but down here where it says plane click on that and XZ will make it so it's normal again then you're gonna wanna push out the radius and you will change this probably in a little bit and then make the count fill in a good amount I'm gonna go with 30 and bring it down so it's like that okay so when you render this out this is what you see
this is what your viewer will see, not the behind the scenes part, obviously, or else that would look really bad. So now what you're gonna make is a MoGraph text object, just like before, and I'm gonna use my name, my channel name. I'm gonna make it 95 again, and I'm not gonna switch it to, uh, actually maybe I will, yeah, I guess I will switch it to Arial Black. I really like that one for um, like when I make tutorials, because everybody usually has it, and it's just a nice font. So right now, if your word is too big, kind of change where that's at. If your word is too big and it's going over, that's when you're gonna have to change the radius. But mine is actually just fitting in there. Uh, just to give it some room, I might actually go right now and just make it a little bit out. Not too much. Okay. So now, what we're going to want to do is add some materials. So color, last time I did green, I believe. So I'm going to use this. And I'm going to use Fresno again. Just like that. Put that in. Looks pretty nice. Now for the uh, these, like the rectangles, what you want. Uh, I'm not really sure what you'd want. Let's just go for like a kind of burnt orange deal. Reflection, going to put on like five. Don't know how that will look. Um, Obviously you can, you know, fix up the colors. And then you're going to want to make one for the floor. And now I'm really stuck because I'm not going to take a lot of time. But I really don't know what would be good. So I'm going to use kind of like a, a pumpkin-y orange, you could say. See if that works. Reflection, I'm going to put it on like 7. So it kind of looks like golden. Whatever, you know. You'll figure out the colors. Then we're going to put some lights in. So right here, this light is really good. Because what it does is kind of makes it look like all the light is emitting from the, the center. Which it really is, and you can kind of see that reflection. But you can't really read the text. So we're going to do what I did in my last tutorial. And if you didn't see it, I'll show you again. And we're just going to kind of really brighten up the room the scene like this because we really want the text visible but we kind of want that like um, effect that we just had in the middle so now when you see you can already see how bad it's gonna hurt your eyes but I'll render it out just to show you don't go blind okay so you have this and now what you're gonna want to do is first light let's name that gonna name it leave alone and that way you really know and now on light dot three shift to light dot one so you have them all selected go to scene drag your floor in there and I believe drag your cube in there but just to be safe you might have to drag your cloner object yeah cloner object so I'm just gonna kind of leave that but anyway shouldn't affect it Okay, so you might be thinking that the uh, Bosco like that, um, the true Bosco kind of looks a little fake when it's um, made that blown up. You can kind of mess around with the settings as you like them, but for me, I'm just kind of changing. I don't really like the Fresno, but for me, yeah, it looks a little better. Uh, I think it's nice to be able to actually see your text. You can do that black face plate. Uh, put the black face plate plate bleh, on the True Bosco like I did in the last tutorial by making it black, putting it on, and hitting C1 in the selection. But this is fine for now, for tutorial pur purposes. So now what you're gonna do? Cloner object. Go to Effectors and MoGraph. Make a where is it? Sound Effector. And just because you were already there, it should automatic, yep, automatically put it in. And then what you're going to want to do 
is change the strength to something, something like crazy. I'm going to do 650, 750, sorry. And where it says sound file, that is where you get your file. Now, clone or object, you're going to have to bring it down a little ways so it's still like that. But now when you play this, and also guys, make sure you click on this, uh, the little audio thing, because it won't play the audio without that. Now that's pretty cool with the audio, but what you're going to notice is that they all move together and that doesn't look that great. So what we're going to do is apply mode, put that to step, okay? And again, you're probably going to have to raise up the all the cubes to get them, or not the cubes, sorry, the cloner object to get them so they're all popping out. And this is how it's going to start with some above the rest. And that syncs up right with the music. Okay. And now the last thing we have to do is we just have to add our camera and keyframe it. So there's a few ways you can keyframe it like this. Obviously there's always going to be more and more ways. Just your creativity. But what you would not want to do is this. because that looks kind of weird because with our light lighting effect it kind of looks weird because it's just too much black around the edge okay so we're gonna go into like here keyframe that or I mean render it out to see if we like it so what I'm gonna do is click on camera and I'm gonna keyframe it here and then I'm gonna go to 60 and I'm gonna go to the T in true Bosco. Bring it down and really get it level with the T. So it's right in the middle. Right like that. Render that out, make sure it looks cool, good. Now keyframe that. And then we're gonna make this take a while. So that took two seconds to get in there, so let's make it take 120 would be another two seconds so that means 180 would be four seconds so we're gonna make it double the time it took to get here so just go across until you're at the O. Oh, zoom you might have to zoom in a little bit just so it doesn't look weird and when we play that And then we're going to let it take only one second to get where we're going. So it'd be 30. So to 210. So we're going to just zoom out looking like that. And then for another 30, 240. Notice how I'm just using second intervals. A lot of times you'd want to be a little more precise than just like, oh, now two seconds, now four seconds. You really want to get your timing down to make um, really great intros. So now I'm going to make it an... Two seconds would end the video. So what I'm going to do is to 270, have it go out. So it's going to take one second to go really, really slowly back, and then it's going to have a little bit to go into the text, like that. So it's all one color. Now when you play that, Okay, so that's actually a pretty nice intro, and like in the other tutorial, all you'd have to do now, guys, is to click on here, and I'm not going to do it because it would start to render, and I don't feel like canceling it, but that would automatically start up your preview um, window, and you could export this. So this is a much nicer intro. The only problem is, um, you know, uh, 
what is it called a like copyright infringement using their um music but you know that's kind of what you have to take because music on the intro sounds pretty nice so you know thanks for watching guys i hope you learned a lot from this tutorial i hope you will stay tuned for other videos like tutorials from cinema 4d uh, i might start doing a html css tutorial stuff like that i'll be doing gaming commentaries every now and then and also i'll be showcasing some of my graphics on here like uh, new intros and stuff like that so you can see my hd pvr capture program right there so stay tuned guys please comment rate subscribe and I'll see you later.